Kyle, and welcome to Liberatory Love Coaching. This coaching space is dedicated to creating spaciousness in your life within the space of relationships. This space, I call it space because um, we tend to look at relationship as a very linear pathway and then categorize all our problems as related to that pathway. And I prefer the word space to acknowledge there is not a single pathway for relationship. There are many different types of relationships, first of all, and then also second of all, even if you have the desire for partnership or marriage, there is a process of both arriving there and then living and engaging with that thing. And so I yeah, am pretty much just smashing any uh, framework that relationship is a linear journey. And with that, with the acknowledgement that I work in the space of relationship, I want to name why spaciousness matters within that space. For many of us, we are living out the patterns of things we had no choice over. So in addition to being a relationship coach, I am a fitness and transformative health coach, and I also love working on these things together. So if you want to do that, we can also do that. But this is not just a plug for that. I want to name what working on physical health brings light to and why compassion is so important, even in the health space. As children, we were we did not make the choices of the things that we put in our mouths. And yet these things continue to have effects on us later. They built the habits that we had later. So when it comes to coming and making change, the reason my framework in transformative health coaching or restorative health coaching is zero to one is that rather than creating these abstract goals, I want a six pack, I want my biceps to look like this. I want my butt to look like this. We're actually going to come closer to your zero, your current reality. What are your habits now? It is so hard to get honest about those habits. And yet when we come to acknowledgement of what our zero is, then we can do the hard work that entrepreneur Peter Thiel calls zero to one. He's talking about businesses and looking at how challenging it is for a uh, entrepreneur to actually create something innovative that's not just a repeat, that's not just one to X, that's not just another version of a thing, but to actually go from zero to one. And this is the same thing as soon as I read that book that made that inspired me to create a framework within health that would look at that gap, not just the one to X, not just the, okay, someone who's already fit knows how to get a six pack. Great. Good job. But how do I get truthful and honest about my zero and make my zero to one, which is a personal thing, but it's also something that has to do with our race, our gender, our culture, the space in which we were raised. And so liberating ourself in this health journey is one part myself, my personal journey, but the other is liberating the path that I'm coming from, acknowledging the depth that I'm bringing from that path. And also what I want to see for my future. So within the emotional health space, this is also so, so, so important because in the same way that you did not have choices over what food was put into your body and what became your physical body at that time, and now you're working through patterns that were established so long ago, emotionally, the same freaking thing happened. You were exposed to a certain amount of love or a certain style of love or a certain style of relationship to receiving and giving and being in your own identity or not. And then on top of that, you were exposed to culture and messaging about what love looks like or doesn't look like or can be or can't be. And so when you start to work on these emotional patterns, you're also breaking through not just your own personal story, but the social conditioning around you. And the, that, this is the reason why I call this coaching and I'm like buzzing talking about it, liberatory love coaching, because this is both personal work and collective work. We cannot disconnect our families, our cultures, our stories, and the stories that we were told from the things that we are working on. And this is hard work and it can be so easy to bypass it. It can be so easy to pursue success and change and money and wealth and even having a marriage and kids, which can become its own distraction from this deep inner work of deep love and deep health. And so how do we 
give ourselves permission to do it. I, I cannot give you permission. The permission has to actually come from you, but I can be a pillar, a place where you can come and begin to do this deeper work that is both personal and collective. And where you can know that the multiplicity of your story, of your story, stories, plural, when you're looking at your family are welcome. And I want to name, it has been a journey for me to get here. My frameworks are still being established. I've been training through a somatic coaching program and I trained through the National Academy of Sports for personal training. I've gotten, um, worked on yoga certifications and different type of dance movement, cardio kickboxing certifications. But this work has not come from any single certification, any single training program giving me directions on this. This is a process and a methodology that's coming forth from my desire to create and hold space for greater, richer, more full life on this planet. And it comes both from sorrow and sadness and loss and grief and pain and also joy and excitement and belief and faith in things that are not yet here, but that I see and feel. So with all of these things, I would love to hold space for you if this is of interest to you. If you want to actually have greater spaciousness, oh shoot, I got a little off track. <laughs> spaciousness then within the love and relationship space is, is the room, the room to see the pattern so that new options can even emerge. Because unlike in the health space where it's not just spaciousness. There's also dedicated action that needs to happen. So you want to have space and compassion for these patterns, but you also have deliberate things that can show you, you, you physically lose weight or you, um, gain a certain level of muscle or you gain a certain level of flexibility or physical energy in your body from working out within the health space, within the, sorry, emotional health space, you're not getting these clear metrics. You're not getting, okay, I can actually see my weight. Okay. I have these measurements of my Fitbit. I have these capacities of, um, I could not do splits and now I can, or I couldn't do a handstand and now I can with relationships. It's more nuanced. It's more complex. It's more uh, inner knowing and to require self-awareness. It requires seeing it requires self-documentation and self sight. And I know this might sound like a lot of work, but there's also so much liberation and the liberation that comes is new options emerging. And the journey also is not easy because the new options also might come with a lot of closing of doors and a lot of cutting ties and a lot of dying before rebirth. But all of this is available to us. And so I want to just make available the opportunity to start to get involved in this work. And so I, I have three different options for that. One is you can actually just schedule a time to connect with me for free and talk about this a little bit more. If you're more heady, more cognitive, if you're coming from traditional psychology or coming from a, a more spiritual view or from a more religious spiritual view or coming from yoga or coming from a traditional academic science that wonders about transformation in the mind, I, I want space for you to actually get to work on that and talk about it and learn about what in this methodology could serve you because this is not an end-all be on the mind the body the spirit if you believe in spirit or soul higher consciousness all of these things are um in a process of discovery and so you your consciousness matters your consciousness and what you believe of these things matter but the beauty of the methodology that i'm operating from is that it holds the space for so much. If you're coming into this space with a more materialistic, more scientific view, or you're coming in with a more spiritual or abstract view or more artist view, that's really the artist in me that has a lot of room to hold space. So um, I want you to feel like this space is being designed with you and for you. And um, also like the frameworks you're already coming in with can also be held. So that's one is that you can just schedule a time to connect with me to actually discuss some of this. And I can also give you um, a list of the different teachers that I learned from, as well as different methodologies and their histories and how you can learn about that and maybe start exploring on your own, because this is going to be a co-created journey where 
I am not here to fix or solve things for you. I am going to be working with you on, on what you most desire in life. And so we want to really build the infrastructure in your life to do this. So that's one thing we can just connect and we can just connect around some of the ways that success can happen for you in this emotional space area where devastation and depletion is so the norm. The second thing is to actually just hop in, jump in these waters and do a session. And that's also, I offer free complimentary session in order to do that. And the first session that we do is usually a desire map, which means creating this internal uh, understanding of your internal landscape. We spend so much time in the space of relationships talking about what we don't want, what we dread, what we fear, what we hate, what we don't want to repeat. Um, and there's a need for all of this healing and um, and, and room for that to be seen. But on the flip side, we don't get to talk about what we want. And what we want is also a huge reason we don't take action because what we want is scary. And so um, that's what we'll do in that first session. It's just like work on this desire map of what you actually do want, what is driving you, what is exciting for you. And then the third thing is to actually sign up and work on this in the way that it's designed, which is as a series, because I'm going to just give a couple seconds here of why a series, why doing this work over time matters and, and give two options within this. <laughs> so a series can look like two different things for me. Um, one, I consider a series to be a cycle. So three sessions in a row. And then the other is a full season and a season is three cycles. So three cycles of three plus one more. So it's 10 total. And that 10th is just to acknowledge closure and um, reflection over the whole season, the acknowledgement that we went through these kind of three cycles together. And I operate in these two um in these two versions, the cycle and the season, because I recognize that not everyone is going to be working on this style of somatic coaching alone. They're also, you also might be working on this coaching alongside therapy or alongside a business training program or alongside a, alongside your dating life. And so it doesn't always make sense. Although in a cycle, what we're going to do is, is look at your patterns and your processes um, it doesn't always make sense to do three cycles all back to back. For example, if you want to work on dating or you want to work on something in your marriage, it might be helpful to just do 10 sessions straight away, do a full season and really see this transformation over three months. But it also might be helpful to do three sessions, go out in the world and keep dating or go back to your marriage, keep living, and then come back and do three sessions again and go out and come back. And, um, I guess the last thing to add there when it comes to relationship coaching is that I, at this moment, I'm not working with couples, but it is something that I'm getting a specialty in and will be available for in about three to five months. So those are your two options of work cycles and seasons. And then of course you can just do a free session and you can take time to connect. And there's one other thing I want to say about why I do this work in cycles and seasons and what the style of the sessions are. Why would you do 10 sessions? Why would you do three sessions instead of just one? And it's that I work with two experiences within the body mind, which is the experience of contraction and the spaces where healing is required, where there's pain present or pressure present. And then on the flip side, I also work with expansion. So no matter what in a session, you're going to have the experience of both happening. But there's in this 10 part series, there's eight core sessions that allow us to get at healing on different levels, our familial level, our inner child level, on the emotional level to give some examples. And then four sessions that are really oriented on expansion, experiencing greater pleasure, exploring more states within ourselves, um, looking at what an ecology of thriving could look like, not just what does, what do I want to be, but what does this environmental support around me look like? What does worthiness and really grounding in a sense of belonging in what I want to do look like? 
So that's what these eight sessions are really about. And then um, with these added to one for closure and then one to really start the container and just get you introduced period to working with the body when we're so used to working with the mind. So that's the purpose of the full season or of, of just a cycle is that it takes this intro this introducing and then it takes this deepening and going more into the contracted state, more into giving attention the part that needs healing, and then going more into this expanded state and this opening up to desire and what I want and these and these um, expansive feelings of life. And one final thing is that these the most beautiful thing of working with expansion and contraction is many times when we go to expand, that's when the contraction comes. That's when it becomes too scary to, to move and grow. And then a lot of times when we contract, this is actually where the expansion becomes available because we actually acknowledge I'm scared. I'm hurt. I'm in pain. This part of me hasn't gotten attention. This part, part of me hasn't gotten love. So it's not just so crystal clear that you come in for the healing space and then you're going to leave in sorrow or pain, no matter what, in both sessions, you're going to get to meet and work with different parts of yourself and also work with them, not just on a cognitive, let's talk about them and let's hear about all the things your ex or your parents said that were untrue, but on your body level, what has stuck with you in your body that's still having a hold on your ability to act in greater love, liberation, and freedom. So if any of this interests you, please feel free to message me. I also know this work is vulnerable. And so if it feels more comfortable just to do some messaging back and forth, I'm a big fan of voice messaging and you can um, message me personally on LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram, but I can also um, move you over to a messaging platform where we can send voice messages just so you can have some space to really talk about what your goals or desires are. And I can see if I'm a good person to serve you, if it makes sense to be working with someone else in my program, because I did initially get trained through a relationship coaching program where there's such a diversity of women and non-binary people who have a heart for feminine healing and liberation and relationship coaching and different specialties, people who want to work more with men or more with the LGBT community or more on sexuality or more on uh, love and um, just general relating. So I do not need to be the person for you, but just even getting to know you can tap into this work uh, is so, so, so powerful. And I just feel privileged and delighted to have found something in my four years of doing a lot of, it's been more than four years, but four years, especially since going through great grief and loss in my life to have found a program and a practice that I feel like is allowing me to begin to get at the depths that I desire to work with in people. So thank you so much for your time. And please reach out on one of these three options. Your just time to connect and talk about frameworks in mental and spiritual health uh, just diving in and doing a free session or signing up for a cycle or a season. So much love.